Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video tutorial, we'll be adding a Facebook Messenger button to our website. People will come to our website, or click on this Messenger button or this pop-up, log into the Messenger or continue as a guest and chat with you uh, using Facebook Messenger. So this is really handy tool when uh, you need your customers to communicate with you and when they need to have some ask some questions to you in real time. So let's get started. So you need to go to your Facebook page where uh, you have your messaging setup. Go to settings. When you uh, have your settings page open, click on messaging. This option will appear or either on the left side or on the top based on the UI of Facebook. It's keep, it keeps on changing so you'll have to search for settings and then go to messaging. Just scroll down below and uh, check uh, an option that will say add messenger to your website. All we'll, we have to do is click on get started. As you click on get started, you'll have uh, various options that you can choose from and uh, make minor modifications to this pop up. You can uh, change the greeting message to anything that you want. and. Um, it will help you uh, to set up the plugin and um, it allows you to uh, see if you want to allow the guest chat option if you disable it only if people who are logged into facebook will be allowed to chat with you um, let's click on the next step uh, it has a custom color option so i'll choose green and that suits my website i want my alignment to be at the light you can choose left or right alignment and uh, this feature helps you to expand the uh, pop-up uh, when the customer visits. Uh, you can switch off, uh, which will pop up only when you click on the messenger icon. Uh, let's keep it on so it will expand and people can know that there's something like chat option on this website. Click on the next button. This is an important screen uh, that will help you to add the chat button. If you miss out something from this, the button will not work or will not function well. Um, just uh, whitelist your domain uh, so for example if you are having an, a website called example.com just write your domain name here i'll write my own domain name here https colon slash slash ishithemes.com so this is, a, this is my website on which i want to show this pop-up i'll have to whitelist and uh, save this changes so they are saved now and uh, all i have to do is i have to copy this code so just click here and the code will be copied Click on finish and all you have to do is place this code on your website. This code must be placed just below the starting of the body tag. So based on the technology or the platform that you use, just go to the uh, code and search for the starting of the body tag and just place this code below the body tag. That's it. Uh, and save the changes and uh, just refresh your front end and everything should be fine. If you face any issues or any problems, just comment below and I'll try to answer your questions uh, if possible. So this is a sample code from one of my websites. So all I'll do is uh, just place, uh, find the body tag and place my cursor just below it and I'll paste the code that I've copied from the uh, Facebook website and I'll just save the changes. After my changes are saved, I'll just go to my front end and check if uh, the website is already showing this Facebook pop-up. Alright, so this is the website for which I added the Facebook Messenger button. Let's refresh the website and see if uh, the code is working fine. Make sure you clear the cache and cookies for the website before you refresh or make sure you hard refresh the website. Alright, so the website is refreshed and I can see this small Facebook icon, messenger icon. I'll click on this and the pop-up will show up the options. I'll click on login to messenger and I'll quickly communicate with the seller and uh, get some uh, information regarding this. So that's pretty simple and really useful plugin that you must have on your website to help your customers get some inf information regarding the products that you're selling. So that's it for now. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you face any difficulties or issue, please comment down below and I'll help uh, try to help you with the issues. Thanks for watching.